My name is Steve Padgett. Let's talk rheumatology. Today I want to talk about lupus. There are some concerning things on the horizon with regard to new therapies. You're probably aware of the fact that there's been no new therapies for over 50 years. Steroids, Plaquenil, maybe Cytoxan have been okayed in other areas, but there's been nothing new. And so what do we do about that? Well, what we're doing is uh, amazing things in the laboratory. And there may be now 20 new potential drugs that can be used for lupus to both control lupus, stop its devastating after effects, and spare steroids. So what's happened in some recent trials? So in the Bolivimab trial, which is an anti-bliss, which is a B-cell factor, the study really did not show tremendous efficacy. And although there's another trial that's been spawned from it, there was a big debate as to whether the sleet eye was a good outcome assessment or disease activity assessment. So then we looked at CellSept. CellSept unfortunately did not reach its endpoints either. So it was not shown to be more effective than Cytoxan and we're still waiting for the renal biopsy results from that. The most recent disappointment is the Explorer study, where rituximab was used for non-renal lupus. And not only did it not reach its primary outcome, but none of its outcomes were reached. And there the FDA had mandated the use of the BILAG, a disease activity outcome assessment scale. So we're in some trouble here. In rheumatoid arthritis, a cousin disease, there seem to be good outcome assessments, good medications which have been shown to be effective and relatively safe, but the same thing is not true in lupus. The concerning thing here is that while we use some of these medications for lupus, third-party payers usually won't pay unless the FDA has cleared a drug or approved it. Also, what does this mean for new drugs coming down the pipeline? So I think all of us rheumatologists need to get together in groups that really understand lupus and outcome assessments and try to figure out the best methodology, outcome assessments, and evaluation tools to figure out how we can move drugs from the bench to the bedside. Let's all work on this. See you next time.